This exhibition is Goddess, Heroine, Beast, Anna Hyatt Huntington's New York Sculpture, 1902 to 1936. It features the early work of Anna Hyatt Huntington, who is a beloved sculptor whose work is all around us in New York City, who's been sadly a bit forgotten. Well, first I saw her sculptures in the American court at the Metropolitan Museum of Art, and then I noticed that there was a Joan of Arc monument at Riverside in 93rd, and then somehow every institution I, I found, there was yet another Anna von Hyatt Huntington sculpture, and I thought, oh, this is a neighborhood kind of topic. Anne wanted to work with her students, with a class ranging from undergraduate to graduate in art history and other fields, um, to work on every single aspect of the exhibition, from research to installation to practical matters. They helped with the design. They did everything. Well, there were very few really successful public women artists at the time. But what Anna Hyatt, as she was then named, understood was that New York City institutions were so ambitious that they were willing to take some risks on some very unlikely artists. Anna von Hyatt Huntington specialized in animal sculptures, and that was not such an extraordinary thing to do. But then, lo and behold, in 1910, she made a major animal sculpture that had a Joan of Arc attached to it, and that suddenly launched her into the unprecedented domain of representing great heroic women in outdoor public monuments. Hyatt Huntington worked with the Joan of Arc iconography for many years and developed different versions of, of the image of Joan of Arc. Um, but the commission here in New York City on Riverside Drive is really significant because it's the first public monument by a woman and of an actual historical woman. Well, I think Anna von Hyatt Huntington is a role model for all of our students because she dreamed big and she achieved even bigger. And then I think it's important for Barnard and Columbia to really be in their neighborhoods and pay attention to what's all around us.